And we are back guys, how's it going? So in that last episode we ended on a little bit of a down note, but we went ahead, leveled up to the next level, and got the Red Mage, yeah. the uh, Silver Sword. So hopefully this time we will succeed at going through the uh, Marsh Caverns, or yeah. whatever they were called. I'm, and um, just a forewarning, um, we had a little bit of technical difficulties at the beginning of this episode, so if the audio seems a little off, we're just going to run with it. It's just one episode. Yeah. Um, we're going to run with it, we're going to test it after this episode. Um, just to see exactly what the uh, problem is. Yay, troubleshooting. Yay. I do it all day at work. Anywho, <laughs> welcome back, everybody. How y'all doing up there in the internet world? We are playing some mother freaking Final Fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. All kind right, Daryl, we got to go down here. We got to figure uh, out where we'll we got to go. Go back into the town. We might want to buy some items. God damn I don't Darryl. remember if we bought any new items, if we even have any money. <laughs> Shouts out to the Black Hokage yes. and the Game of Illuminati. Their videos are hilarious. I was we were watching them so the good. <laughs> oh man, that day go definitely. New playing that that uh, Red Days played uh, the um, what game were they playing? It was some kind of like deer shooting game, and that game was that that was heavy rolling. Mm. That deer juke the hell. <laughs> so good. Oh man, but yeah. You know, I think there's, I think there's a stigmatism. There's the item shop. I know. Yeah. I think there's a stigmatism, um, and uh, when you uh, when you're like a lower YouTuber and you try to like save other people you like, and you're like, oh, you're crazy. You gonna try to reference them to get them to like your video and blow you up? That's not what we're doing. We just genuinely like a lot of YouTubers. Yeah. And like, I don't like to talk about them. Because yeah, we I spend actually, a like, lot of our free time watching YouTubers. So true story. We honestly know. That we like these YouTubers. I think I have, out of everybody in, in our group, I think I have the most amount of time spent on YouTube. Probably. I I really like YouTube. Ever since I started started watching YouTube in 2006, mm -hmm. when I had to use YouTube, don't flag me. But on my old profile, it says that I'm like two years young, older than I actually oh, am. Oh, yeah. Just because I was trying to watch the Juggernaut bitch. I think I told the story before. If I have, cool. If I haven't, here it is. <laughs> yeah. So back in the early days, I mean vintage vintage youtube when <laughs> you could just put really quick you actually have enough to get a house if you want to get one oh uh, i don't want to get a house what are we buying uh I, I was gonna say we should probably check our inventory to see what we have to see what we need right i know we need some pures because those are the antidotes right yeah and there was a lot of poison so back to my story so yeah um back in the early days of youtube i mean back when it, youtube was just Random people's videos that people just wanted to put on there to see. Oh, look at me! I'm on the internet. <laughs> YouTube was a lawless wasteland. It was a lawless wasteland, and fight videos. My oh, God. God, there were so many fight videos, and I was just like, "Oh, this is cool," you know, videos and this, that, the third. Well, here comes a little group. I forgot the name of the group that came out with the Juggernaut bitch, but that um that video. Oh man, it uh, it changed the way I felt about YouTube in an instant. Because at first I was like, yeah, YouTube's cool. It's, 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 it's alright. And I watched the Juggernaut bitch five times in a row and almost died laughing every single time. Like, it was just so funny to me. Like, I just really thought it was good. And I, I feel as though those guys don't get as much recognition probably because people forgot the name like i did because yeah. i'm a horrible human being i'm sorry no disrespect um but you know that you made it when fox uses your material in x-men 3 right it didn't even it was like oh you know we ain't paying you guys we saw this funny thing on the internet and we're taking it because we're fox and we own these rights to X Men, mm -hmm. but um, when I heard him say that in the in X Men Three, he was like, "I'm a juggernaut, bitch," and I'm like, "My way, entertainment." Yes, there you is, go. Is the my is, is I'm a juggernaut, bitch? Is the original video still on YouTube? Um, according to this, it says the video was quickly spread to YouTube, but was removed for its offensive nature. When? Uh, I don't know, but. 
you know, I'll bet you it's one of those things where it was removed, but like every other day it gets added back onto YouTube and they have to just keep on removing it. You can probably still find it easily. Uh, dude, that, okay. If you haven't seen it yet. The Juggernaut Bitch Part 1 was hilarious. Mm -hmm. But I think it's Part 2, which is the one that had me die laughing when he was walking under the water. And he oh, was yeah. like, <laughs> he was like, under the sea. Oh shit, is that a dolphin? Yeah, you. I'm around one of them motherfuckers. And then a uh, freaking shark. He's like, is that the shark from Big Blue Sea? He just punches the shark. Yes. That's what eats Samuel Jackson, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that is my shit. I don't know if I told you this before, actually, but that is, I want to say, one of my very first experiences with YouTube was yes. seeing those videos. That, the Juggernaut bitch is fucking hilarious because yeah it was at school because somebody was showing it i think yeah i had the video back when youtube like you said was a lawless wasteland yep. um there was i had my psp right oh, and yeah. um there was like a download link to download the the whole video mm -hmm. in the description or some shit like that and I had the video on my damn PSP for the longest time. <laughs> and I used to watch that shit literally every day. Where the fuck are we going? All shit uh, about. Down a little bit, left, and then down. What? Matt, what the fuck? You get 161 HP. When we hit level 9. God <laughs> damn it. You know what's sad? We're probably still going to need more than that. Probably. Okay, so when we get to this bitch, when we get to um the, um where were we going? Marsh uh, Cave. Marsh Cave, whatever. Look. We're going to beeline it to this damn crown. Yep. We're getting the motherfucking crown. I don't want to stay in there too long. You hit for 45 fucking damage. Yeah. Holy shit. What the fuck? Sleep sit for <laughs> seven. Now, this is more accurate for a white mage. What's it, why? Why he got to be white? Because he's wearing white. Mm. And it, it's literally the title of the job. Mm. <laughs> Just saying. I like the name of the high white mages in three, the Devouts. I think that's how you say it. You also call them the high white mages. So why do they have to be high? Just because they're white? Advanced white mages. <laughs> Shit, tits, man. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, I don't want to use my magic. Yeah, try, try to hold off. Shit. Yeah. Until we get into those caves. Oh, I'm not like this game. Like I keep on looking back on. It, I'm like, Terminated. I do not remember it being God this hard. damn it! Hey, God one damage. You did it. God damn it! Hey, terminate. Okay, great. Okay, great. That's great. one down. We're good. We're great. good. Great. Great. All right. I'm awesome. taking and I'm taking all the hits, which is actually really good. That's great. All good things. All good things we need. Yo. Okay. Do you buy any more uh, healing items, like actual heals or whatever? Can I tell you a secret? You didn't. Nah, but we're right outside the town. So oh, yeah. if I need to do that, we'll go do that. Cool. But Just yeah. figure we'll probably want to stock up I as love, much as we I can. I love old school YouTube. I, my, biggest, my biggest, like, memory of YouTube was back when we were in high school. And every day after we got out of school, fucking the newest episode of Naruto of Bleach was up. Yep. On YouTube. Didn't nobody give two fucks. That's how we watched our anime. Yes, it was subbed. No, it wasn't dubbed. I'm talking about 2007, 2008. And that was those like half the time they were like fan made subtitles and stuff. Oh my god! On some like on some of them um, when we were like in a rush to watch them. Oh my god! god that was also, and I know we're gonna get some hate for this, but honestly, that was back when Bleach was good. That was back when Bleach was good. <laughs> Okay. Like, like I'm, I'm sorry, everybody who's gonna hate on me because, like, oh, the ending is actually good. I I kept no up spoilers. with the entirety. No spoilers. I'm yeah. a little bit behind, but I got I just got. And I don't say this often. This rarely happens. I love. I'm a huge anime manga nerd. I love all Same. that shit. But it's rare for me to get bored reading a shonen of all things. Yeah, a shonen of all things. Right. Like, I'm reading a shonen and I got board like hella board like yeah. surfboard <laughs> like it was it was super boring and i just i don't i don't understand how you have the keys to success it was if you so just good. throw it in the lake and just that's that's how i feel about bleach yeah like i also feel like they had like two good stopping points in that manga 
And two, they just kept going. That they one, just kept going. But two. And right. they were just like, man, we gonna milk this bad boy. I don't care if it's just powder by the time we get done milking right. this bag of cash cow. We gonna milk it. And I'm just like, no, oh, no, that's not what you do. Stop. Now, don't get me wrong. I know from experience that there are other shonen that do that. Absolutely. Like, honestly, for one exp from one experience of mine, the original series of Naruto. It was good. And you get to like that end. Heels and pures. Uh, we could buy a cabin. I'm sorry. Those are the main things. I'm sorry, Aaron. Keep it going. Oh no, you're good. Continue, um, continue your nerdum rants. Yes, nerdum rants. They're the funnest. Yeah. Most fun. Yeah. Yeah. But um, like Naruto was really good. Like the original series was really good, and I really liked it. But the issue to me was the fact that like you had the ending. And they had, like, a full season of filler. Like, after the ending, there was still, like, another season of episodes that have no real connection to the rest Wait, of the story. Wait, what series are you talking about now? Naruto. The original Naruto. Like, I really liked uh... it. But just that ending part just had seemed to be so much filler. And some of those episodes were amazing. Don't get me wrong. So don't yes. don't hate on me. Like, don't say that I'm hating on all the episodes, because I'm not. That looks like a fair amount. I bought some peers. No, you didn't. Those are antidotes. We need antidotes. <laughs> Remember, that's what keeps on killing us. I feel like I bought too many. But you know what? Mm. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. We've been sorry too much. We have not been yep. safe. <laughs> You're right. We've been too sorry. Not enough safe. Right. And uh, like you were saying about like too much, like you get bored from and like Shonen and stuff. Honestly, that is actually one reason why at one point I did get out of uh, One Piece is because some chapters in One Piece have a shit ton of talking in them. They do! Like, but they, I, and I mean, you get a lot of story, and you get a lot of, like, character development and stuff. You do. But it was just so much to read at that time. I, know, I just love One Piece. I, will, I love One Piece since day one. I'm still not caught up in that either. I need to I'm catch up in that, up in too. Either. I'm behind. Everyone, the running joke, guys, I just want to let y'all in. The running joke about, amongst our friends is the fact that I will always, god damn it, I will always be behind. I'll also always be poisoned. I'll always be whatever I've never been when I gotta be, baby. Fuck them lyrics. <laughs> Fuck this game. I was like, what just happened? <laughs> See, you can never I have too many pures. The game proved that to you. Maybe. I don't. God damn it. <laughs> you got this. But yeah, that's a running joke that I'll never get caught up in manga like I used to be. Yeah. I used to be the man, homie. Back then, I was the man, homie. Mm -hmm. Like, I would just automatically be caught up. Okay. He's probably dead. Whoa. He's dead. He's everyone, super dead. Everyone else will now miss. Oh, that silver sword is very nice. It is very nice. Did we have this episode sort of last time we went to the no, march? No, I, I literally okay, bought great. that after our game over. Okay, great. Yeah, guys, it's a brand new day. Yeah. Yeah. We're like the new day, except not as fit. And that. we actually have one white guy with us. That. But we're like the new day. <laughs> Shouts out to Up Up Down Down. Awesome yeah. YouTube channel. Check them out if you haven't done so already. They're cool. Yeah, they're really cool. Xavier Woods is awesome. I have to keep a cool guy. See, there's so many people I want to collab with. He's yeah. one of them. Like, and, it's, and again, it's not like we're doing shoutouts because we just want their like you know them to help us get famous or anything. Because we're really um, not. We I, legitimately I, would, if we get famous or if we get popular enough to do it, we would love to do collabs mm -hmm. with these people. I just, I really want to do collabs, but that's another thing that um, um I was telling you about uh, Alpharad actually. Mm -hmm. Um, his panel at Super Smash Con. He was uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, a Alpharad is a pretty cool guy. He's a YouTuber. He specializes in a lot of Smash stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, shit, him. you're still poisoned. You forgot to heal your poison. God, God. <laughs> Remember to heal your poison after this fight. I am going to heal my poison. How about uh, now? Because can't these things poison you again? Fuck. Wasn't it the Great Wolf that poisoned you last time? Fuck. No, it was the Werewolf. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, you can... I'm going to drink, drink that up. pure. That's that pure stuff. That hundred proof... Oh my god, critical hit. That motherfucker dead. That was 96 damage. Damn, <laughs> nice. Oh my god. Oh, oh my oh. god. <laughs> home, 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 home. That's so much damage. I hope you know you just spiked both mics hardcore. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was, thinking, I was saying it up to make sure. You that, were. Just to make sure I didn't spike them and I did. Sorry, guys. 
I'll edit. I'll edit. Yeah. I'll get Bob to edit that. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Good thinking. Uh, but um, what was it you were great. saying? Uh, we were talking about collabing and stuff. Um, Alpha Rad. Yeah, Alpha Alpha Rad's, um panel at Super Smash Con this year. Uh, Shouts out to Alpha Rad. He do Smash videos. Um, he has he's a great he's a really cool YouTuber. He's so young and yeah. he's so successful. Um, <laughs> it makes me sad. But um, he um was talking about you know just general things that a lot of YouTubers, my God, don't really <clears> think <throat> about. Um, and uh, just little small things. And uh, one of the things he said was. Um, Dang, what was that? I just, I just brain farted because I was <laughs> I was still talking about the I was still thinking about that damage. Right. Um, um what was one of the things he spoke about? Um, numbers, YouTubers branching out once you get a hundred thousand. Oh yeah. Um, fuck, I forgot. What were we talking was about? Was it what you told me? No, that was the thing about the hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah. Um and branching out. Are we That's supposed what, to go down or up? We gotta go around. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to go all the way up. Crap, it's asps. They're gonna try to poison Crap his ass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Don't poison us. <laughs> don't poison us, bro. <laughs> um. Damn. Fuck. What was I gonna say about Alpha Red? About his um panel. His panel was really good. I mean, he cho- he talked about a lot of things. Um, Very informative. Yeah. Um. Oh, the collab thing. Woo! Found it. I found the. Okay. Thought. Okay. There we there. go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Say it before you forget it. <laughs> um. He um, was talking about collabs. He's like, yeah, you know, if you want to collab with these people, like YouTubers, even though there's some, they are some bigger YouTubers because they've been around and they have the numbers. At the end of the day, they're just people. We're just people. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, come to us professionally first and foremost. Right. But don't think, don't put us on a high ass pedestal because we're still people, you know, just like, you know, you and me and everyone else. And he said, that's something that people do. Nope. He said that's what something that people do all the time is they try to put uh, YouTubers on pedestals, and he's like, yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, yeah. What else did he say? He's like, but when you do a collab, or you think about doing a collab, one thing that you should most definitely um, think about doing is when you approach somebody and say, hey, let's do a collab. Don't just say, hey, let's do a collab, and I have anything to bring to the table. Right. Actually, Find have out what you want to do, you know, and that's thing that's one of the goddamn. I think that's one of the things that I most definitely want to uh, start doing. It's just hypothetical plans. Like, I, I know it'll be a year, two years, something like that, um, before we actually have those kind of numbers. Um, I'm still going to make every stride to make sure that we get those numbers in the long run. Yeah. But I know it's going to take time. And we still want to try to get them I'm as soon the as possible. I'm the most patient and patient person you will ever meet. I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but I am. I'm an extremely patient person. But I have no patience. Yeah. For you force yourself to be patient about things, pretty much. I mean, it's weird. Like I can have all the patience in the world with somebody that probably wants to kill me, and like when it comes to things that I want, I'm impatient. Mm-hmm. I'm extremely impatient. Um, but yeah, that's um, that is something that uh, I most definitely want to strive to do is collab with a lot of YouTubers, a lot of gaming YouTubers, yeah. some music YouTubers too. Like That'd be awesome. Um, like the Tetra, Tetramono, Tetramono, that's the band? Tetramono, I think, yeah, something, something like that. Yeah, yeah the I band, think that's right. oh, I would love to collab and make a song with them. That would be or awesome. work on music, oh my god. And even, not not even just that, but all, other ones that, um, like, something like, uh, not even necessarily like the people who play the games, but like, Game theorist and stuff like that. Oh, I would love to do like something. those would be really cool. I would love to do de- an episode of Deadlock with Matt Pat. That oh, would be that'd fun. be pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh my god, that'd be so fun. That should yeah. check our health. Hmm. Oh, decent actually. We're all above a hundred right now. You should probably. No, I might. Yeah, I might want to use like one healing on me, or we still have five cabins. We can just wait until we get right outside of the uh, hole and then use the cabin. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Yeah. That was the other thing we bought, was the cabins, after our last playthrough. Yeah. But um, also, talking about, like, going off of what you were talking about, another shout-out, but um, I've been watching the Game Grumps uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 playthrough, mm-hmm. and the episode I just watched, actually, was the one where um, they're both, uh, Dan and Aaron are both talking about how um, 
it's weird to them when a person comes up to them and like super hardcore like fanboys to them because the, to them they're still not really like huge famous like you know they're not like actors and actresses and stuff to like that. To be fair, those episodes are like two years old. Yeah, but I mean it's just they've cool grown to see. a lot in the yeah. last two years. But I mean it's still cool to see that off of people because it's like you know these people that you know we view them obviously as being up there and they're they're they are at the goals that we're trying to reach mm -hmm. but even them they're still like no we want we still like you know if you want to come up to us and say hey you're cool hey you, you know how's it going and you know just talk to them they're cool with that and i think that's really awesome and like you're saying I mean, that was a couple of years ago so of course they're now going to be busier and stuff like that obviously mm -hmm. but i still think that they still fall in that mindset of you know they they'd like for fans to approach them to a degree, but not, they also don't want to be seen as like put on a pedestal and all that stuff. Right. Which is really cool. They're still right. down to earth. I just, I really want to uh, freaking uh, collab with people. Mm hmm. I do think that would be amazing. I just. Like the ones that surprise me are the one are when they get famous people on like a YouTube channel and stuff for an episode. I just think that's really cool. Yeah. And that would be amazing to do one day in the future. I, I mean, there's a long list of people I want to collab with. Oh, like, yeah. Almost everybody in Normal Boots, Asterix. Um, uh, I'm not going to get into it. It's who I don't want to collab with. Right. Um, just personal reasons. Mm -hmm. Um, Everybody with Hidden Block and, um, of course, Game Grumps, mm -hmm. uh, Black Nerd Comedy, um, Lamar Wilson will be cool, Katie Wilson. Um, Honestly, I'd like to do a collab, a, a collab with um, Markiplier. Markiplier. Markiplier would be awesome. Markiplier, of course, Matt Pat, yep. the Completionist. Um, There's the, just a lot of cool people that man. I think would just not even as much for the views as much as I just think it would be really fun to do it, you know? And that's and that kind of goes segues into the thing. Which way do I go? To the, to the right, I want to say, yeah. Because we went all the way to oh. the left the last time. Harm! I was definitely about to get hit with a harm, playboy. Ooh, <laughs> that bone. hurt more. That was 31 damage, Okay, man. yeah, the red bones hurt. That is dangerous, but uh, yeah, you were saying. Sorry. That that also also just kind of comes all full circle with goddamn you paralyzed, with where um, just the whole idea of moving, like it's it's, it's a double way to store so it's a double edged sword. Right. Um, part of me wants to move to where the opportunities are, but a part of me wants to stay here and create those opportunities for where I'm at now. And that would be a really odd, like, I can see doing both, but the idea of staying and creating something that could, in the future, benefit others, that just sounds really cool to me. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I like both ideas. I, I just really, I just want to be, you know... Not a, of course successful, but I just right. really would like to have my, you know, own studio where I just do everything, all kinds of media, including YouTube, including audio, music, video games, my anime. I want to do an animation studio. I'm, pre mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we talked about this before on the show. I think so. Yeah. It's just it's just something that I, I constantly think about where I'm at now. This dead end. Oh my god, dead end job. <laughs> and I'm just constantly just looking out the window and they're like am i just wasting my life here i mean is there any other other things that i could be doing now that would be not only more beneficial but you know just overall better for me as a person than just sitting here in this place just trying to get a paycheck to live day by day yeah i just i don't know it's, it's one of those things it's just ugh. I mean, that's another thing, honestly, and I'm not saying that, you know, all of our experiences have been bad living here or anything, but we, like, out of our friend group and out of even just the people in our group for this, in our YouTube channel group, mm -hmm. we've all had 
kind of shitty experiences from time to time, and some have had more than others and everything. And, you know, a part of that, I, I personally feel that's kind of a thing that kind of pushes people to move away. Because, you know, it's you kind of it's that whole idea that you want that fresh start kind yeah, of feeling. Most uh... And I fully get that. But also the idea, again, going back to what you were saying, of staying here and creating something new. Mm -hmm. To me, it's the idea of bettering this area for other people, which I also like. So... It, it it's a hard decision to me. How much HP does that Redbone have? Right? I don't know. It's just it's something that I've most, I most definitely think about every single day. I just right. wish I had the time and the money to do everything I want to do in this lifetime. So remember how you mages kept on getting unparalyzed in pretty much the same turn? But I've been paralyzed for this entire fight. You have. Yeah. Jeez. Is it dead? Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why is it so strong? It's not even a boss. Why is it so strong? <coughs> uh, you I'm okay? Dying. I'm dying now. Oh, no. 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 We have to succeed first. I mean, no. You're my friend. I just took 40 damage. I'm really hoping that your one damage terminates him. That would be nice. But, no luck. Hey, there we go. My finally. god, finally sleeper. Jeez. Well, you wasn't dead, so you get the experience, which is great. Yeah. I'm 100 foot bog. That's a lot of gold. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of XP and a lot of gold. Okay. Yeah. Time to heal. Thankfully, paralysis does not stay on you after battle. That's one thing I can be thankful for in this game. Yay, that's one. I gotta heal myself first, man. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you on that. You are super close to death. I mean, one more hit from that uh, red bone, you probably would have been dead. Okay. So do I go around a top or bottom? Um, I don't know. I was gonna say pretty much whichever way you go, it's probably gonna have to be the other way. Yep. Okay. You know what I hope we get in this game? The escape slash warp spell. Eventually, at some point. <clears throat> That'd be nice. That'd be helpful. Yep. Now I'm thinking about other people that I would really enjoy doing collabs with and stuff. Name who? Um, I mean, Jacksepticeye also seems really cool. Um, and then, I mean, we're obviously a gaming channel, but there's also other channels that I would like to do stuff with, like, um, I don't know if you know them, but Aki Dearest and stuff, and, uh, her group, because they're the ones that'll go to anime conventions or do like reviews on anime and mm -hmm. things like that. Really cool stuff. And they just seem like nice people, cool people to hang out with. And um, they actually just recently did an episode, another shout out, of course. Oh my god, 114 damage. <sighs> Terminated. Well, he's dead. And um, one episode they did recently was. Um, Terminated. Having a person whose only experience with anime was, I think, watching One Punch Man. And they had him guessing what animes were from, like, the main image of the anime and then a couple select images from that anime. Mm -hmm. I would enjoy doing that with video games, with people who don't know video games. I think that would be a really fun thing to do, actually. And, um... I don't know, there's just... I feel like the cool thing about YouTube is that there's so many possibilities with it. And not just YouTube in general, but, you know, just working online, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, whatever. I just mm -hmm. really like the idea of that freedom, and you get to be more creative. You get to do more things that you really like. And that is the cue for the end of this episode. So, so comment question of the day. You got one? Yeah. Who would you like to collab with one day? Let us know in the comments. You know, are they a big YouTuber, small YouTuber? We probably did this question before. 
we just like we've done this fight before. Yep. But I just I really want to know. Um, let us know who they are. Link us to their into link us their channel in our comments. Oh my god, I'm just so tucked tight today. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, and you may want to go ahead just to just to throw it out there. You may want to go ahead and start getting yourself ready because we may be doing uh, an announcement next episode about something that we're going to be doing here in the next month or so. Um, it's a really cool opportunity for everyone to get involved, and it may be some cool prizes in store for you guys. So, hey, keep an go, eye out. I keep an eye out. You may want to make sure you follow us on all our social media and keep up with us on YouTube, as of course. Yeah, Just hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and most definitely become a member of the V Squad. Don't say that word. V Force. That one. <laughs> v Force. The V Force. I'm sorry. <laughs> become a member of the V Force. All you got to do is ring that bell, and bam, you're a member of the V Force. Hey, you may yeah. get some cool stuff for free just for being a member of the free, the V Force, the Free Force, <laughs> the V Force. <laughs> The name of this episode is Tongue Tied. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, y'all stay sexy. And until next time, see ya. Hit it!